Hey guys, Zach here with Android Police. By now, I'm sure you know that I am a customization freak. I love creating setups on my Android phones, and here is my latest one. Welcome to another episode of Making It Mine. So I'm going to start with the lock screen wallpaper. One of the slickest wallpaper applications that I've come across recently is CRISPR. I like switching things up on a regular basis, especially with it being the holiday season, I like to keep in with that theme. Now here is my home screen. The launcher that I'm using is Launcher V2. I'm using a grid size of 9x7 with a disabled status bar. And just like with my lock screen, my home screen wallpaper is changing a lot as well, so I'll probably be using some of the other ones not currently applied on the lock screen, or I just might switch it up to some good old Christmas live wallpapers from maxilis.net. I have always been a fan of these. Okay, so icon pack. My primary icon pack is called Pix Material. I found this thanks to Facundo. Shout out to you, bro. I actually really like this one and I think I'll be sticking with it for now. As for the widgets and the rest of the layout, I'll be honest with you, I had no idea what the heck I wanted to do for a few days, and so this is what I landed on. I took advantage of Launchair's double row dock function and I put basically everything in there. I've got quick access to six heavily used applications, then I've got a folder for my Google apps and a folder for my social media apps. Below that, I've got a Google search bar with the assistant button. I like the look of this and it adds yet another way to activate the assistant. As you guys should know by now, another way I like to make my phones mine is by using dbrand skins. I've been using these for a very long time and they keep coming out with new favorites. They also have a skinnable grip case, which is my primary case for when I'm out and about with my Pixel. Check them out using the link down below and I'd like to thank dbrand for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. Okay, so since I disabled the status bar, I needed an easy way to both see my battery percentage and access battery stats, but I didn't want just basic plain white text. I wanted something a little different. So I ripped this from a daily UI for KWGT widget. I like the pill shape, the rounded corners mesh very well with the circular icons, and I love the addition of the little red heart. It kind of reminds me of the Legend of Zelda games. I set it up to bring me to my battery stats when I tap on it. Right above that widget is this one, and I honestly just needed a filler widget because I made the battery one first, but I actually like how this turned out in the end. So this is the same widget as the battery one, but I edited it to display my brand name, and I changed the heart icon to the YouTube logo. I thought this would be a pretty neat way to open up YouTube's Creator Studio, which of course, I use a lot. Onto the main widget up top, I was looking for something clean with multiple fonts, and this is what I found. This one also comes from Daily UI for KWGT, but I flipped it to have white text on a dark background. It has the opposite by default. Swiping over to my next screen, you probably saw this one coming. I've got good old month calendar widget. Now I have a hard time believing that this will ever be replaced by another app. I've been using this one for years. Below that, I've got a five day weather forecast widget from Skyline for KWGT. And then below that, I've got some more applications that I use on the daily. I've got ESPN Fantasy for my Fantasy Basketball League. I'm still undefeated as of this video. Let me know what you guys think of my team. I'm giving one gallery a shot. Now this is a very nice and clean gallery app and it's actually made by the same devs that made Today Weather, which I'm sure by now you're aware of. I've got Amazon. I'm always looking for stuff on there and the Nest app for controlling all of my Nest stuff. Getting to the app drawer. If you know me, you know I love organizing my app drawer using folders. Pretty much everything in here is the same, but I did start getting back into emulators recently, so I've got a folder dedicated to those. It has been a very long time since I've used emulators, and to tell you just how long, playing GameCube games at full or near full speed wasn't possible. Yeah, so it's been a minute. To close out the video, of course, I have Google off to the left hand side of my main home screen. And I know a lot of you are going to ask if Launcher V2 is compatible with Android 10's gestures, and I will be honest, not entirely. In fact, it's a little finicky, but it's still usable. So there you go. Anyway guys, that is how I've made the Pixel 4 XL mine. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to the Android Police channel if you are new. I will talk to you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Meow.